Hi, is this 167 Kettle? I, I think I'm your son. Oh, golly. Uh, this is 166. That's 167. Oh, that's your dad! <laughs> Lab? What? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. <laughs> this kid is open. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Let's get one difference clear. Traditional selective breeding is a natural way of picking and choosing from a large population a type of plant that grows the best. For example, broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower all originate from the same wild mustard plant. Genetically modifying organisms is a continuation of this process to help these standout crops become more resistant to common agricultural hurdles through direct interference with their DNA. Let's take corn in the United States, for example. So this is less of a maze. For corn, scientists identified a soil microbe called Bacillus thuringiensis which kills certain Ooh. pests whenever ingested. <laughs> it started out as Dipole, a powdered pesticide. The problem? It couldn't last in the conditions and couldn't do its part. With this comically large magnifying glass, we can see the scientists sequenced the genome and found one BT gene responsible for the insecticide trait as a whole. They aimed to implement it into the corn, hypothesizing a huge boost in pest resistance because it would literally be engineered into the crop. In what used to be a common method, scientists would use a gene gun that had nanoprojectiles coated with a specific gene in order to get it into the corn's genome. It aimed to fusillate the cells by a random chance that a gold or platinum missile would strike the nucleus without killing the cell. It was a bit of a gamble and was later replaced by Agrobacterium tumefaciens. This contains a TI plasmid, a round set of DNA that can transfer information to an intended cell and install it into the genome. The plant cell can now develop into a full-size corn crop through toe dependency and can be crossbred from there. Now that you know the science, I encourage you to dive into the pros, cons, and further logistics of genetically modified organisms on your own time. See ya!